Welcome, in this one I'm going to show you how to make a picture of the absolute value of z minus 1 equals 2, where z is in the context as follows, a complex number. So it looks like x plus y i. So we are not in the x y coordinate system, we are in a complex number system, z space. So in this context, I'm going to first replace z with x plus y i. I'm going to make it look like the equation of a circle. I've done this before, that's how I know it's essentially going to be a circle. So I'm going to proceed as follows. I'll replace z with x plus y i, and then let's see, minus 1, and the whole thing is equal to 2. Then group the x and the negative 1 together. That's going to give me now x minus 1, parentheses, plus y i, the whole thing is equal to 2. I'm just grouping these together in the side of parentheses, so things are easier to stick into the basic distance formula when you find the length of the magnitude or the modulus of this complex number. So I'm going to do that next. I'm going to put the square root symbol. So this plays the role of this first entry, x minus 1 squared plus, and then y squared. And the whole thing is equal to 2 still. And after that, I'm going to proceed as follows. I'm going to square both sides, cancel these off on that side. So when I do that, it's going to give me the following over here now. Let's see, it's going to give me x minus 1 squared plus, and I'm going to rewrite the y specifically as this here, y minus 0 squared is equal to 2 squared. I'm rewriting the y as y minus 0 so I can see the y coordinate of the center of my circle. And this is the equation of a simple circle. Let's identify some key pieces of information. So x sub c for the x coordinate of the center. That's equal to this value 1. Do not, do not take the negative 1. When you say x minus 1, if you wanted to, you could imagine it's really x minus a positive 1 this way. That's a way to imagine x minus 1. So it's positive 1 here. For this part, the y coordinate of the center is just equal to 0, whatever that value is. And the radius of the circle is 2, which is the value in that base. That's why I did not write it out as 4. Now I can make a picture remembering that the equation originally here, z minus 1 equals 2, that's actually in the z space. For the purposes of sketching, I'm going to pretend that, I'm, that I am in xy space. Pretend. Just so I can organize my work in a somewhat decent way. So it's going to kind of look like this. But remember, this is not the real axis. This is the imaginary axis, essentially, as shown here. I hope you've got all of that. And then I'm going to mark the center so it's 1, 0. So in this one, it's going to kind of look like this. This is 1, 0. This is what a point would look like if you were, for example, essentially in not in z space, but in xy space. This is enough to get the location right. And after that, actually, I'm going to delete that, okay? Get rid of it. I don't want to actually use that. And instead, I'm just going to write here that it's just equal to 1. That's it. Okay, so this is 1. So this I'm going to call A, and this basically corresponds to this one right here, the center of the circle. Now notice that the radius is 2. What that says is just count 2 in all the directions to make a decent sketch of the picture. So let's see, if I count this as 1, then maybe here this is 2. Is that reasonable? Looks like it. So then you count it off in every direction the same way. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me not. Okay, that's pretty good. Also going straight down. Let's see, that's pretty good here. Okay, mark a point here. Let's see, point here, point here. Do a kind of preliminary sketch of the overall shape of things. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Uh, it's freehand, so... Okay, that looks like that. That looks like this. This looks like that. And this looks like that. Okay, this is meant to be a circle. <laughs> so I have A already marked. So go back to the equation. This B, for example... Where is B in this picture? It doesn't seem to be anywhere. Well, you pretend it's like an arbitrary point on a circle like Z right here. You see? It's just some point somewhere in a circle. So this is your B. There's nothing special about choosing this dot. It could be anywhere in a circle. Keep that in mind. And the last part back in the equation, we'll call the right side, which is C. Where is that present in the circle? You can probably guess. It's just this, basically. It's like the radius of it. So this is my C. So that value is equal to 2 right here. You see? So now we've been able to synchronize all the pieces of the equation with the pieces of the picture. And hopefully you're convinced that this actually works. Remember that we are ultimately in Z space. If you like, we are in a complex plane C, where this is real, this is imaginary. But the mechanics of making a picture are the same as for XY space in a circle. Thanks so much. I'll see you in another one. Please leave a like and subscribe.